We've already seen how we measure the strength of an acid or base by its tendency to react with water. Acid and base strength are measured by Ka and Kb, or pKa and pKb. Strong acids have a large Ka, greater than 1, and low pKa, less than 0, while weak acids have a small Ka, less than 1, and a high pKa, up to about 50 for the very weakest acids. Strong bases have a large Kb and a low pKb, and weak bases have a small Kb and a high pKb. And importantly, there's a parallel relationship between conjugate acid-base pairs. The stronger an acid, the weaker its conjugate base, and vice versa. But why are some acids and bases stronger than others? What makes a strong acid or a strong base? A weak acid or a weak base? It's all about energy and stability. Let's start with bases. According to the Lewis definition, a base is a donor of a pair of electrons. This definition applies to all other types of bases as well, Bronsted Lowry and Arrhenius, so we'll use this broad definition. When a base reacts, it donates that pair of electrons to some other molecule. Its willingness or proclivity to donate that pair of electrons is what gives a base its strength. The more donatable the pair of electrons, the stronger the base. In terms of energy, a lone pair that is high in energy or relatively unstable makes for a strong base. And since we know that strong bases have weak conjugate acids and weak bases have stronger conjugate acids, we can say that the strength of an acid is governed by the energy or stability of its conjugate base. Typically, we say that the strength of an acid depends directly on the stability of its conjugate base. A strong acid has a very stable conjugate base, and the weaker an acid, the more relatively unstable its conjugate base. Specifically, the strength of an acid is dictated by the stability of the pair of electrons that were holding the acidic proton to the acid, the pair of electrons that end up as these electrons in the conjugate base. In the next few videos, we'll explore the specific factors that influence the energy of those lone pairs, charge, resonance, atom effects like electronegativity, size, and hybridization, and inductive effects.